WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network. Four o'clock closing bell uh, on this 4th of April, Monday. This is the close and we're up 103 at 34,922. That was a nice surprise because the Dow was lagging. It had some of those uh, funny duddy, the, the old, uh, the, the uh, McDonald's, etc. of the world in, its, in, the, in the Dow. And they were troubled early on, but now everything's come back very nicely. So up 103. The S&P, so the Dow's up 0.3%. The S&P coming back nicely it's up 0.81 percent up 36 at 4582 it needs to get to the 4600 level by wednesday actually over the 4600 level that'll be really impressive if it does that it needs today's low in all the in this indices need to be a very very key support for the week but this is where the story was and the story was the rotation keep in mind folks as long since the summer of 2010 if you kept in mind that rotational corrections can keep the market buoyant as other areas take a dive and you've got something holding the market up and that's what the queues did today they should they broke a nice trend line resistance in this uh, pattern we should see a leg c above 30 371.83 uh, this week certainly early this this one it needs speed this particular pattern uh, everything the macd is good everything's good so we'll see and it needs to hold 362 if there's any sudden pullback you're looking at that's the qqq ndx 100 uh, very important that it starts to move right here you're looking at the iwm um, lagging a little bit it was up 36 but it isn't leading the way and gold had a very good session but it's really digesting huge gains from way back and it yes it's still an icon of fear but I think that that's ameliorated somewhat here. We'll be watching it closely. Same thing with crude oil. Had a really strong move up 4.30 at 103.59. It's still in the middle of a trading range. And the TLT is really the story. It just says yields still want to go higher. But at this particular point, there should be a chance that yields could pull back as the TLT finally ha uh, starts to rally. We'll see if that's going to happen. So with that said, have a wonderful evening. Check out the Tiger Den. I mean, for a dollar, you've got all these fantastic people in the den with, with great knowledge and just analyzing away. It's just terrific. So uh, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. And a on a Wednesday week, I'll be doing a webinar for subscribers to my opening call. Will there be new highs in 2022 and the technicals that go with it? Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you tomorrow.